Here we're going to be doing our design sketch. We're going to be taking this block. Design sketches are a little bit more detailed, get some ideas on where stuff is and how it's going to actually play out when we make the block. We're going to be drawing this block in orthographic projection on our sheet. If you remember, orthographic projection is the six principal views, front, back, bottom, top, right side, and left side. We are going to be just doing the front, which is going to be in this orientation, and the top. We're going to start out using the dot method. Drawing a line across the bottom very lightly. And turning it into a rectangle. Now, again, if I look at my sheet of paper here, and I look at my block, I don't care about sizes. I'm not using rulers, remember. I'm looking at proportions. And the height on the back is about a third of the length this way. So I'm going to use my finger to break it up into about thirds to calculate out my height for my back. The top is about a quarter of this. One, two, three, four. The top view, so that would be this drawn this way. The top view is about half as thick as this, half as thick over here. Draw a line across. Now I can darken in my lines. I know this is the size of the block. And you should have something looking like that. All of our next designing goes into the front view. We need to first of all figure out how long we want to make the car. Remember it has to be between 2 and 300, so it's about a third. Break this into thirds again. The shortest I can be is about here. I'm going to cut my car off right here. And I'm just going to color that in so I know. Now, if you remember orthographic projection, this has to project up and we no longer have that part of our car to work with. Okay. Our next thing that we're going to do is locate where that hole in the back is at. It's about halfway up. I want to draw a dotted line because it's hidden. And a cylinder, if you remember, tipped on the side, looks like a rectangle. We're going to come up to the top view, carrying this line up, because if it's this long in the front, it's got to be this long in the top. And we have our cylinder marked out. Might be kind of hard to see, we'll zoom in. next thing we're going to do is locate the axle holes. They have to be between 9 and 100 from the back. Don't go too far in front of here. Or your car is going to try to pull up on the front end as it's going down the track, which will make it slow. And then we need to make the wheelbase. So the, front one, the rear axle hole, draw a circle. Draw a circle for the front. Those transfer in the top. Again, remember, think about it like a straw. I'm looking at the straw. If I flip it, the straw looks like a rectangle. Coming up. Draw a dotted line again. Same thing over here. Coming straight up. Draw a dotted line. Now I have my axle holes done. Next thing I'm going to do is look at what I want the front of my car to look like. It needs to match your thumbnail. So you should have your thumbnail sketch sitting next to you here so you can draw that. Mine comes up, comes down to a tight corner, 
comes straight over, comes up, comes down, and angles, and it needs to end where your car ends. Okay? Now that we have that portion done, let's look at what that does in the top view. Car comes over the top here. This rounded area in the top is not going to look any different. The first spot we have something looking different is this sharp corner here. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half. And if you have a piece of paper folded in half, we have this tight corner here. If I look at it from the top, it turns into a line. So, transfer that line straight up. I'm going to come along here, keep following along. Oh, I got to another corner where two surfaces form a sharp corner. That transfers into a line. Coming up, two corners that form a sharp corner, or two points that sharp, sharp for, form a sharp corner. Here. So this surface is flat. This surface is going uphill. This surface is going downhill. And now we're back into flat. We have one more sharp corner just behind the wheel right here. And then it comes down to the flat. So this surface is eight. We're done with that portion. If you want to cut anything off the bottom of your car, you're more than willing, welcome to. Do not cut by the axle holes, here or here, or here or here. We need to leave some stuff on the bottom so that we can put some eye hooks. If we cut underneath the axle holes, we're going to have a problem. So I'm going to cut down like this, and I'm going to cut up like this. Sharp corner. Because if I'm looking at it from the top, I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's going to go hidden. It's going to go dashed. Same thing. Going to go dashed here. One more sharp corner here. That's already on the back line. This sharp corner comes up. We can color in the parts that we're going to cut off. And I have my basic car shape there. Now I'm going to move to the top view. Any good car needs to be cut out on the top. If, it, if you want a fast car, you need to have it cut on the top. Okay? Again, right here is my axle. And right here is my axle. You can't cut near those axles. You need to leave that full width there so that the axle doesn't sit there and wobble back and forth. Okay? So I want to make my car a little bit more aerodynamic, so I'm going to cut from my axle back. Remember, it needs to go to your front line. This makes a sharp corner. Bring it down to here. I'm going to do a little bit more work in here. I'm going to make a nice curve in here. Make a nice curve in here. Notice I made it line up with this bottom curve. I made it line up, this dotted line lined up with this bottom curve. Okay, You'll see where that comes into play in a second. I'm going to take some of this out. And I'm going to take this material out. Sharp corner here. Comes down. It's going to form a line right here. Sharp corner here, comes down, it's going to form a line right here. Okay, so now I have this angled away from me in this direction. This is flat by the axle hole, which is what I want. This here is this area here. So it's curved, comes to this sharp corner, which is represented here, and then comes back. And that is how we get a design sketch done. We've taken into account all of our 
design ideas. We used our thumbnail. We went through. We did the basic cutoff of the car. We located the axle holes. We drew the front view. We transferred that to the top view. And then we drew the top view and transferred that to the front view. Good luck.